Actually, it's quite simple. Mission and vision are clearly definable and defined terms. Actually. And yet so many companies have it wrong. Even the big and supposedly very professional companies. Audi makes the following statement as their mission on their website. Consistently Audi. Sorry, this is not a mission. As a vision, Audi states, unleash the beauty of sustainable mobility. And again, that too contradicts the definition of vision used by most experts. That is not a vision. Funnily enough, it's more of a mission as the verb unleash indicates. Anyone who wants a job with Ford and asks what Ford's mission and vision is like, will get the following answer. One team, one plan, one goal, one Ford is Ford Motor Company's mission and vision. <laughs> this is beyond me. Basically, this is one of the reasons why I don't see a good future for Ford and wouldn't buy shares. It's neither a mission nor a vision. It is extremely ignorant to try to cover two different concepts with a single statement. IKEA writes, our vision is to create a better everyday life for the many people. I'm sorry, but this is not a vision, it's a mission. Of course, you could argue that it's completely irrelevant how you define mission and vision. Just make sure there are statements about strategy at all. However, I think it's dangerous and expensive. Then we could also say it doesn't matter if we call something a task or a goal. No, if you call a task a goal and a goal a task, you confuse people. They then work less motivated, less goal-oriented, and less consistent. A clear mission and vision should create orientation, give direction, and offer meaning. And for this, we need clear definitions and an undoubted common understanding within the company. HubSpot says, Our mission is to make the world inbound. Inbound means that marketing no longer acts outbound as a loudspeaker and sales no longer puts customers under pressure. Instead, you make yourself so interesting and so attractive to customers that they come to you on their own. Inbound, from the outside to the inside. The mission of Tesla is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable transport and energy. A mission that they already achieved. The mission of SpaceX is to make humankind a multi-planetary species. Interestingly, here we have a case where the vision is derivable from the mission. It's clear. The multi-planetary species is then the vision of SpaceX. These are three examples of a mission that has been well done. In contrast to a mission, a vision is a concrete picture of a fascinating, jointly aspired, feasible future of a person or a company. It always lies in the future and its realization is a positive challenge. The vision of Amazon is to be the Earth's most customer-centric company. A vision Microsoft used to have was a personal computer in every home running Microsoft software. And the vision of Southwest Airlines to become the world's most loved, most flown and most profitable airline. Now let's compare mission and vision systematically. The definition of mission is the promise of an effect that an organization is producing for their customers continuously, long term. The definition of vision is the clear picture of a fascinating, jointly aspired and feasible future. The aim of the mission is to constitute the company. What are we here for? The aim of the vision is to give direction. Where do we want to go? What do we want to achieve? The content of the mission is purpose, task, activity and effect of the company. And the content of the vision is a desired future, a desired future situation as a result of pursuing the mission. The effect of a mission is to push and guide. The effect of a vision is to pull and guide. The time horizon of a mission is today and forever until we change it. 
The time horizon of a vision is a certain point in time in the future. The frequency of change for the mission is rare. You don't change your mission often. But the vision you change periodically, as soon as it gets too weak or that you get too close to your vision. How necessary is a mission? I think a mission is indispensable. There is no way to run a company really, or to run it well at least, without having a clear direction, without having a clear task for your company. Can you be without a vision? Yes, you can. It's conditionally dispensable. Because if you have a very strong mission, then you can be without the vision. We have synonyms. People invent and keep reinventing terms like the why or the purpose or the massive transformative purpose. They all somehow say, this is a mission. And for vision, you could use the aspiration or the moon shoot. For the elements of a mission and a vision, a mission has five elements and a vision has more, there will be another video. You should not derive your mission from your vision. That's wrong. There are people that say that the mission is only there to fulfill, to achieve the vision. No. Your mission is not meant to only achieve your vision. Your mission constitutes your company. You should develop your vision on the basis of your mission. And it is important to know that a mission and a vision never consist of just one sentence. This must be well explained and justified, the mission and the vision. And now, test your own mission and vision. The mission and vision for your life or your company. Make sure you don't confuse your people. And with that, achieve the opposite of what you want to achieve with a mission and a vision. Give your employees a clear orientation on the two questions. What are we here for? The mission. And where do we want to go? The vision. Have a bright future.